Welcome everyone to this week's Shoe Sports Report. The Pioneers had a busy weekend, but let me tell you, Sunday was a good day to be a Pioneer as all five teams in competition came away with a win. And Cara, the women's volleyball team, had another huge weekend with a pair of sweeps. And the Pioneers are red hot cruising to the postseason. Absolutely, Diana. Sacred Heart is continuing to show how dominant they are by sweeping St. Francis Brooklyn this Saturday. All three sets were close, but the Pioneers pulled away in all three. Anna Gonzalez had six service aces and 14 digs, while senior Sarah Krufka had 13 kills and four block assists. With Central Connecticut's loss to Robert Morris on that same day, Sacred Heart took over the sole possession of the top spot in the Northeast Conference. They had another match this past weekend on Sunday that they took on LIU Brooklyn and are proud to say they, are still, they still hold the best record in the league. In the first set, Sarah Krufka managed to keep the Pioneers composed and added a few kills to end the set 25-23. Sigurdar also took the second and third sets with the scores of 25-20 in each. Krufka continued her great weekend with 12 kills and 3 block assists, and LaSalle Nels had 10 kills and 11 digs. The Pioneers now sit 15-7 overall and 8-1 and in the conference. They continue play October 29th as they head on the road to take on St. Francis U. The women's volleyball team wasn't the only team to ever win this weekend, right, Diana? Certainly not. The, uh, before the volleyball team took the court Saturday night, the Sacred Heart football team was back at home for family weekend as they hosted Robert Morris for the second game in conference play. Shoes running back Nate Chavius was able to put points on the board first with his one run score, but with the wind and rain being a factor, the Pioneers were unable to get the extra point. The Colonials then quickly responded with a touchdown and extra point to take a 7-6 lead. It was somewhat of an offensive struggle until RJ Noel made a 36-yard pass to Andrew O'Neill to set up a field goal for Alec Finney so the Pilots could take a lead going into the half. Shu came back in the second half holding the Colonials to only three points as they were able to score another touchdown to make it a final score of 16-10. James Rents became defensive player of the game with a season high of nine tackles and a blocked field goal kick, while Nate Chavius was offensive player of the game with two touchdowns. Shu will move on to host St. Francis University this Saturday at 12 p.m. Now we're going to send it to Kyle to catch us up on a big weekend for Shu Sports with this week's Update Corner. Kyle? Thanks, ladies. It indeed was a busy weekend for Shu Athletics. Now let's get you all caught up. The Sacred Heart bowling team started off their season with a five-match sweep in their Shoe Bowl for the Cure tournament on Saturday. They bested Franklin Pierce, Felician, Cutstown, Caldwell, and Malloy. Reigning NEC tournament MVP Lauren Hoffman won the individual tournament, beating out teammate Amanda Nardiello for the title. The Pioneers head to Jersey for the FDU Jamboree this weekend. The equestrian team also kicked off their 2016-17 season with a win at the ISHA Hunt Seat at Connecticut College on Saturday. The Pioneers recorded 40 points on the day. Junior Devin Connolly placed first in Intermediate Fences and Intermediate Flat Section C. She became the first Sacred Heart rider to qualify for the Hunt Seat Regionals in Intermediate Fences this season. Carrie Ann Johnson, Abigail Williams, Julia DiBartolomeo, Cecilia Mathan and Cassandra Bales all won their respective events. The Pioneers will return home to host the ISHA Hunt Seat and ISHA Western event on Saturday, October 29th. The Sacred Heart field hockey team gave coach Sidney Vandermovie his first collegiate win as head coach Sunday as the Pioneers topped LIU Brooklyn 2-0 for the team's first win of the season. Junior Nicole Tolley led the Pioneers scoring both SHU goals in the second half. The Pioneers close out the season on Friday against Monmouth at Johnson Field at 6 p.m. The Sacred Heart women's swimming and diving team posted a 2-1 record in a quad dual meet at Iona College on Saturday. The Pioneers defeated the host Gales and the NEC foe St. Francis Brooklyn while falling to league rival Wagner. The Pioneers improved to 3-1 on the year Freshman Lauren Somers earned NEC Swimmer and Rookie of the Week for her sensational performances this past weekend. Somers took home first in the 100 free with a time of 52.42, the fastest time in the NEC so far this season. She also took home the 50 free with a time of 24.19.
Somers concluded her weekend with a win in the 400 free relay, where she swam a sensational 51-56 split to anchor the Pioneers to victory. Sacred Heart hosts Holy Cross in a dual meet at McCann Natorium on November 5th. The Sacred Heart men's and women's cross-country teams competed at the CCSU mini-meet on Friday. The women's team finished in sixth with 150 points. Senior Jennifer Hahn was the top women's finisher with a time of 10.42.6, good for 26th place. Most of the Pioneers rested up for the Northeast Conference Championships that will take place this Sunday, October 29th in Loretto, Pennsylvania at St. Francis U. The Sacred Heart Women's Rowing Varsity 4-plus team competed at the prestigious Head of Charles Regatta in Boston on Saturday. The team crossed the finish line with a time of 20.43.45 to finish 23rd out of 59 boats from all over the country. Their time earned them an automatic qualifier for next year's race. The Pioneers will host Fairfield in the Shoe Scare Dual Meet on Saturday. The men's soccer team started their week off with a 5-0 loss to second place LIU Brooklyn on Friday. The Pioneers would bounce back to defeat Robert Morris 3-0 on Sunday. Shu would get their first tally on a corner kick from Oscar Curras to Chris Carniero in the 16th minute. Ezra Siaduba and Haidino Saar also scored in the win. The Pioneers will host Brian on Friday. Kickoff is set for Friday at 5 p.m. at Campus Field. The Sacred Heart women's tennis team competed in the ITA Regionals at Yale this past weekend. Olivia Podsiberski represented the Pioneers in the singles draw. She fell to Chloe Lee of Rutgers 6-0 and 6-2. The doubles player of Taylor Gerda and Sabrina Navarro-Lopez fell in the first round 8-0. The Pioneers compete in the NJIT tournament on Saturday and Sunday for their last fall competition. The Sacred Heart men's tennis team closed out its fall schedule at the ITA Regionals at Penn this past weekend. Corey Seltman and Brian Einstoss represented the Pioneers in the doubles bracket. They fell to Buffalo 8-1 in the third quarter bracket. Seltman also represented the men's team in the singles bracket. He would fall to Fridell of Buffalo 6-3 and 6-0. The men's team will pick back up in January for the start of the spring season. The Sacred Heart women's ice hockey team had a tough weekend in their series against Brown. The Pioneers fell 6-3 on Friday night to open the season. Taylor Moreland scored twice for the Pioneers, but late scoring by the Bears took the game away from Sacred Heart. Shu hosts Holy Cross for their home opener on Friday, October 28th at 7 p.m. The women's rugby team fell to Bowden College 99-0 on Saturday. The Pioneers fell to 2-4 on the season with one game to go before conference playoffs. Shu heads to Ohio to face perennial powerhouse Notre Dame College this Saturday. That wraps up an eventful week in Pioneer Sport. Back to you guys on the desk. Thanks, Kyle. The Sacred Heart men's hockey team had a very busy weekend in week three of the season. The Pioneers traveled to the eighth ranked Boston University on Friday night and the Pioneers hung around early. Despite being down two to nothing, Sacred Heart continued to push the attack with 12 shots in the second period, but BU goaltender was not having it, holding the Pioneers to zero goals. The Terriers would add five in the third period to take home the seven to nothing victory. Sacred Heart would not get discouraged as they headed back into conference play on Sunday against AIC. Down 2-1, heading into the third period, the Pioneers dialed in with senior captain tying the game with his power play goal with 11-12 to go in the period. Jasper added his second goal of the game just two minutes later to take the 3-2 lead. Sacred Heart would add three more to take home the 6-3 victory and their first conference win. Pioneers will travel to up to New Haven to take on Yale this Saturday, October 29th at 7 o'clock. While the hockey team is still in the beginning part of their season, the Sacred Hearts women's soccer team is winding down their regular season in the NEC tournament. They had a battle against St. Francis U this past Friday. Sacred Heart outshot St. Francis U 21-18. However, St. Francis U is not going to back down. With constant back and forth, there are points on the board. St. Francis scored, then Shu scored, and then during the second half, Shu scored again. With a score of 2-1 at the 61st minute, the Red Flash scored less than a minute after Shu to tie it 2-2. 
with a tie at the end of the game. A tie at the end, the game went into overtime, and then in the double overtime, where Shrews freshman Caitlin Buckley scored the game-winning goal from 12 yards out. With such a long game and a great win, Sacred Heart didn't have that much time to recover before the next game just two days later on Sunday against LIU Brooklyn. Sophomore Nicole Sambuco recorded her eighth shutout of the season against the Blackbirds with five saves of the day. The game-winning goal came in the 85th minute as sophomore Melanie De Silva sent a cross to senior Emily DeWitzik, who scored it from six yards out. Sacred Heart grabbed their first NEC road win of the year and completed a big weekend sweep. The Pioneers are now 4-1-1 one, and one in the NEC Conference. With only two NEC regular season games left, the Pioneers have to make sure they stay focused to finish their season strong. They'll be heading to Mount St. Mary's Friday, October 28th at 4 p.m. For, for more on our women's soccer team, we will send it to Ann Burrell, who is, in the head who is with head coach Kim Banner in this week's Coach's Corner. Thanks, Kara. Pleasure to have Coach Banner on the prog program with the women's soccer team in the middle of a very exciting season. Now, Coach, the team has really hit their stride in conference play. They're 4-1-1. One, one. What is the mindset of the team as you look to uh, reach your first conference championship since 2012? They're very enthusiastic. They're very excited about the possibilities of, go of getting back into the playoffs. Um, they've been working extremely hard, so... You know, they're knocking on the door. Hopefully they can get in. Yeah, nine of your 11 point scorers are freshmen and sophomores. How have their big contributions brought new energy to this team? I think they've trained very hard over the summertime and really um, took it seriously coming in. They, I mean, obviously the sophomores were here last year, but I mean, they want to change the, the atmosphere and the tone around and really set the goal for the freshmen to come in. There's a good mix of both young players stepping up as well as veterans providing leadership. How have you been able to blend them together? Actually, it's a true testament to the returners coming back. During the springtime, they really wanted to change the atmosphere and the results from, from last year. And they trained hard, really put the time in, dedicated themselves to really make that commitment. And they set the bar high for the freshmen to come in. So when the freshmen came in, they had nothing to do but go forward. So, you know, With Senior Day on Saturday, what have these three seniors meant to the program? Senior Day's on Sunday. Sunday. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, honestly, these, these three seniors have really put the four years in. They've worked hard over the four years. I mean, it goes by so fast, but um, they've really set the tone and set the bar high for the new, new incomers to come in. So, All right. The team's an impressive four and one at home this season. What's it like to be su so successful on your home field? It, it's crazy because, I mean, everyone always says, oh, campus field is so small, but they, um, they don't realize that the, it, it comes from the team's energy. It comes from their enthusiasm that when they bring that energy to the field and that intensity, it's hard for a team to compete against them. Be sure to head to Campus Field this Sunday, October 30th for Women's Soccer Senior Day as the Pioneers host Brian at 12 p.m. Back to you guys. That's all we have for this week. Be sure to check out all the Pioneers in action at home this weekend. For Diana Canizero, Kyle DeVico, Ann Brell, and for myself, Carol Levine, as always, we'll see you next week.